Hey everybody, this is John from Streaming Teacher, and I'm here to bring you a little tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today we're going to be talking about wide slots with narrower cutters. So I've got a part here and I need to cut this slot on the mill, and this slot width this way is 3 eighths of an inch. But the only slotting tool that I have is a quarter inch thick. If we check this out here, we'll see that our thickness of our cutter is quarter inch. Now, most people would think, well, it's pretty simple. Just go into the depth cuts and set your rough depth at the difference between the two. But that actually doesn't work too well. The trick here is to use the finish depth in the depth cuts to get that locked in correctly. Let's take a look at these parameters. So in my depth cuts menu, I have depth cuts turned on, and I have my max rough step set at 250, which is the width of the tool. And then I have one finish cut at 125. This will make up my 375 total. I have my depth cut order set by contour and my step cut direction is step down, but you could set this as step up. Now you may also want to take radial passes. So if that's true, then you want to go into multi passes and set the spacing for your roughing and finishing. And then make sure that you have your finish passes set for all depths and have your multi pass order set by pass. And I have this set for one way with keep tool down. Having everything set up this way, I get this result. We'll go into back plot. And let's check out a front view here. I'll switch to front and we'll step through the program. So my first depth cut will line up the tool right with the top of the slot here. It will take one pass and then it will go down to the second pass here. And then go in for another width pass and another depth pass, width pass, depth pass. That way I can cut this slot at exactly 375 using a 250 cutter and it's quick and easy. Well, thanks for joining us for our tech tip. Make sure to check out streamingteacher.com for all kinds of great lessons.